you might already be aware that the largest naval vessels in the world are proudly owned by the US. But let's take a moment to explore a fascinating summary of these 10 remarkable ships together. When we talk about the biggest naval vessels, it is generally measured by displacement, meaning the weight of the water the ship displaces when afloat. The United States has a history of building some of the largest and most powerful warships in the world. Let's check out the list of 10 biggest naval vessels or classes built by the USA. The Ohio-class submarines While they are not surface vessels, Ohio-class are the largest submarines ever built by the US measuring over 170 meters and displacing 18,750 tons when submerged. They play a key role in the United States nuclear triad and ballistic missile submarines, each capable of carrying up to 20 Trident II D5 missiles. Designed for stealth and long deployments, they are difficult to detect due to their quiet operation. Each submarine is powered by an SAG nuclear reactor, allowing extended submerged missions. Additionally, four converted Ohio-class submarines carry up to 154 Tomahawk missiles for conventional strikes. Will they remain effective? The Ohio-class is nearing the end of its service and will be replaced by the new Columbia-class submarines. Number 9. The WASP-class they are an impressive class of amphibious assault ships boasting a full load displacement of 41,150 tons. These powerful and versatile ships are designed to transport and support a complete marine expeditionary unit. They utilize a fantastic combination of helicopters, tilt rotor aircraft and landing craft. Each ship features a spacious flight deck and well deck perfect for executing both vertical and horizontal assaults. They can carry an exciting array of aircraft, including the MV-22, Osprey and the cutting-edge F-35B Lightning II, all backed by a robust command and control suite. Although some of the ships are aging and encountering maintenance challenges, the WASP class remains an invaluable asset for projecting power, conducting humanitarian missions and serving as a light carrier when required. Number 9. The America class they are US Navy's newest and most aviation-focused large-deck amphibious class of ships, succeeding the WASP class. The first two ships in this class were designed without a well deck to maximize space for aviation facilities, fuel, and munitions. This design choice enables them to function as lightning carriers. Equipped with an enhanced air ring that includes F-35B Lightning II stealth fighters and MV-22 Ospreys. These ships play a crucial role in projecting power and supporting a marine expeditionary unit by focusing on vertical assaults from over the horizon. Additionally, they can serve as light carriers, augmenting the large carrier fleet. The later ships in this class, referred to as Flight 1, will reintroduce a well deck for traditional amphibious landing craft, effectively blending in enhanced aviation capabilities and versatility of their predecessors, the WASP class. Number 7. The Iowa Class At over 58,000 tons, the Iowa-class battleships are the largest U.S. battleships. They were designed for high speed, up to 33 knots, to keep pace with fast carrier task forces and were armed with nine devastating 16-inch guns capable of firing 2,700-pound shells up to 24 miles. The combination of speed, heavy armament and robust armor made them formidable warships for their time. They saw extensive service from World War II, providing crucial fire support during amphibious landings to the Korean War and Vietnam Wars. All four were modernized in 1980s, with the addition of Tomahawk cruise missiles, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, and advanced electronics extending their service to the 1991 Gulf War. Although ultimately rendered obsolete by carrier-based air power and missile technology, the Iowa-class ships remain iconic symbols of American naval might. Number 6. The Midway-class They were the largest warships of their time, bridging the gap between World War II and the supercarrier era. While they missed the war they were designed for, their heavily armored flight decks and large size made them exceptionally durable and adaptable. 
they were the first U.S. carriers capable of operating nuclear strike aircraft and underwent significant modernizations in the 1950s, including the addition of angled flight deck to accommodate the new age of jet aircraft. These ships served with distinction throughout the Cold War, seeing extensive combat in the Vietnam War and even participating in the 1991 Gulf War. The USS Midway served for 47 years, cemented their legacy as highly effective and endearing assets for the US Navy. Number 5. The Forrester Class The Forrester Class carriers were revolutionary, earning them the title of US Navy's first supercarriers. Designed to handle the new era of jet aircraft, they were a major leap in size and capability from their predecessors. The most significant innovations were the incorporation of the angled flight deck, steam catapults, and the optical landing system, all of which became standard on all future US carriers. Despite their groundbreaking design, forestals weren't without their flaws. The location of the port elevator in front of two catapults was a design compromise that limited its use. However, these issues were addressed in later classes. Their service, particularly during the Vietnam War, demonstrated their power projection capabilities while they faced tragic accidents, notably the devastating 1967 fire on the USS Forrestal. Their legacy is secure as the ships that laid the groundwork for the modern nuclear-powered supercarrier fleet. Number 4. The Kitty Hawk Class The Kitty Hawk class aircraft carriers were the last conventionally powered supercarriers in the US Navy, measuring 326 meters and displacing 83,000 tons an improvement over the Forrester class. They featured a more efficient flight deck and aircraft elevator arrangement that increased sortie generation rates. Three of them were built and served for decades and adapted to new aircraft like the F-14 Tomcat F-A-18 Hornet. They played a vital role in US air power during the Cold War and saw action in the Vietnam and Gulf Wars. They were eventually succeeded by the nuclear-powered class, the Kitty Hawk class was notable for its durability and adaptability in modern naval history. Number 3. The USS Enterprise USS Enterprise CVN-65, known as the Big A, was the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier commissioned in 1961. Its eight nuclear reactors provided unlimited range and speed, allowing decades of operation without refueling a significant strategic advantage. The Enterprise notably participated in events like the Cuban Missile Crisis and Vietnam War. Its over 50-year service life showcased its durable design and modernization efforts, while its complex 8 reactor system highlighted the potential of nuclear propulsion, paving the way for future Nimitz and Ford class carriers. Number 2. The Nimitz Class the Nimitz-class carriers are essential to the U.S. Navy's power projection, acting as floating air bases with a range and endurance that allows them to operate for over 20 years without refueling, weighing over 100,000 tons and capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft, they were among the largest warships ever built. Built on lessons from earlier classes, they have proven durable and adaptable. Since the 1970s, they have played a critical role in U.S. military operations and foreign policy, continuing until the Ford class carriers are fully integrated into the fleet. Number 1. The Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers Approximately 100,000 to 112,000 tons at full load, the Gerald R. Ford class is the largest warship ever built by any nation. People usually say it is around 100,000 tons, but some sources might list it a bit higher. These massive ships stretch about 337 meters long and have a flight deck that's 78 meters wide. They typically carry about 4,500 people, including the crew and the air wing, and are powered by two state-of-the-art A1B nuclear reactors that can push speeds over 30 knots. Plus, they come packed with advanced tech like the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and the AAG advanced arresting gear which helps boost their sortie rates by more than 30% compared to older models. With this, we're winding up for today, but don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you guys again in our next video. Bye-bye.